So what would you do about this problem? Obviously a condenser that has a rather massive leak. This unit was overcharged to the point that it hydraulically jammed the uh, condenser. So what would you do? Would you replace the coil, replace the outdoor unit, or repair the coil? Well, in this case, I repaired the coil, and I'll tell you why. I'll show you some pictures of the repair. Now, in this series of pictures, you can see I pulled some of the fins off so that I could get in there to, to repair this. Now, I've done this repair before, and I've had various uh, people say that I was damaging the coil, there was not enough heat transfer. You know, that's really kind of silly. Uh, you've lost about 15 fins on, on maybe a square inch or two square inches of coil. It's going to make little or no difference. Should Is this repair viable? Uh, actually, it's pretty viable. I've never had one uh, come back on me. All I did on this was uh, braze it over. There's not much to it. I, didn't sh I don't sh have any pictures of the braze, but there's nothing special about it. This is a viable repair. Uh, a customer could not afford a new coil or a new unit, so they wanted this a repair done that was going to work. And this is it. This does work well, and you can get it done. This was done in about a half an hour, uh, plus the evacuation and so on. But this is a viable repair. I've seen a lot of guys that won't do this type of repair. They say you have to replace the coil, etc., etc., replace the unit. I don't believe that's true. So this is my idea on how it should be done.